Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's having a good week, weekend, whenever you guys are watching this. Today we are going to talk and I'm going to show you how I build my um, grip on my bow. Um, I don't use shoe grow, or I think that's how you could say it. I actually, the thing I use is right here, fix it, stick. It's all purpose bonding putty. Uh, you find it at Lowe's and Home Depot. It's seven dollars for a whole entire, you know, thing of it. Um, can't beat it. Um, I used it in the rain and, sh and shot the 900 in the pour down rain with my hand being wet and everything else, and it getting wet. Didn't have any problems with it. Um, shot 3D with it and having bug spray on with uh, DEET and everything. Didn't have any problems with it either. Um, as you can see, you get a whole entire roll for it, and this is all I've used so far out of it. So here's my uh, bow, as you can see, and there's my grip. I know it doesn't look too good, but hey, it's all right. I don't care about making it look good, as long as it works, right? So the one I'm going to be showing you on today is this Cartel Riser right here. Um, if you're wondering about it, it's uh, they make it in three different sizes. This is the Cartel Triple. It takes uh, Polaris limbs on it, if you're wondering. Um, great for uh, bow fishing. Cheap, inexpensive, and everything. So good one. So um, what you need is tape, the putty, and some sandpaper. Um, so what I usually do is see how you want it on your hand and everything uh, the way I like it is start from this side and build it up to the other side so my lifeline it'll stick right into my lifeline and then I don't have to worry about the bow moving on me okay so um, let me take it off see how easy it is and um, that's what we're gonna do so uh, I'm going to put you on pause for a second, and then I'm going to do this. Okay, guys. Um, as you can see, I went ahead and I taped it. I usually just tape it where I'll have some kind of guide of uh, where I'm going to sand it at and everything. So um, where then all I have is just the centerpiece here. Okay. So all you do is just take... I usually just take sandpaper and just lightly scuff it up not much okay and then I'll show you how it looks like when I'm done with it as you see I don't know if you can see it or not okay there you go that's it. That's all I sand it. I just do a little teeny rough sand on it. Not much. I don't really sand too much on it. And then the way I do mine is I just work it. I just pinch off a little bit at a time, like half inch or something. And just do it that way. Because then I just build it up. So all you do is just, of course, just mix it around. Since it's two parts. So that's what I do. I just fold it and knead it together. Okay. Until it's all together. Um, it only takes a couple minutes for it to start working. Okay. And then all I do is start and start squishing it down. To start making it and the good thing about it is you can just keep on and keep on working it the way you want it to work And of course, you can use the uh, tape as a line. Let me 
K. And that's the way I do mine. It's just to use it a little bit at a time until you want to get it the way you want it. Instead of putting a whole big gigantic chunk on there. And then you don't know. Then you might have too much. Too, you know. So I always just work with a little bit at a time. So you just work it like in a little ball. And then you just press it on. And of course, I mean, once it dries and everything, you can uh, continue working the way you like it. Um, the way I like it, of course, is to have like a ledge where my lifeline is. And usually it's like a real straight ledge too. See, how I like mine. So this side is this side is angled. All right. And this side is like a ledge, okay? And there's the back side of it. See? That helps you out. Okay. And then if you really want to, you can put your hand in there and then squeeze down a little bit to get it to form with you. But um, you'll start feeling that it um, starts turning hot. Okay. And that's it. Then you just let it sit. But as you can see, it's it's already it's it's already setting up. Okay, so I'll put you on pause, and we'll come back to it in just a second once it warms it it uh, finishes up. Okay. Okay, guys, we're back, and as you can see, this is the final result of it. Um, what I usually do, I just wait till the very next day to make sure that it's uh, cured and everything before you finish shaping it. And as you can see, this is what it looks like. So, as you can see, or you can see, it's thin here, and then on this side, it's a ledge. So, if it's right in my lifeline, just like that. But you can also, if you want to, if you have a gap here, you can put some here where it'll be in there really good. But um, that's it. Uh, works good. Um, in the rain, no problems. And of course, if you don't like it, you can just break it off. And that's it. So until next time, take it easy, be safe, and be good to your fellow archer.